What is up guys, my name is Commenting, and today I have a little Shadow Stalker video why the Shadow Stalker is actually a pretty good gun. Now, I know a lot of you guys are thinking, of course it's a really good gun. It's a legendary gun, of course, of course it's a good gun, which I know I sounded kind of dumb there. I know it's a good gun. It is a very, very, very good gun. But no one seems to really use a Shadow Stalker all that much. Even myself, if I find it in the Scorpion 7, if you guys don't know, the only place, let me go, that you can find it, there's two places on It's Washington. right here in the gun range. You see there's rails. The Shadow Stalker can spawn up here or over there at times. And also it spawns at the little radiated place north of the golf course. But I find it all the time and I never use it. Why that might be is because it takes so much space. It's a five by two slot. And if you're not gonna be using it, it takes up a whole lot of space. Because look, a fourth of this Alice pack is taken up by this Shadow Stalker. That's why it's annoying, because it takes so much storage to hold. But the gun is really good. Usually what I do is just salvage it, because as you can see, it salvages for like five scrap metal, six scrap metal, which is, that's basically a rifle clip. But, this is a reason why you should keep it. I have a lot of rails here. The rails are really hard to find. Well, not super hard. As you can see, I went in there, I found two rails. If you go there every now and then, you can probably find two to three rails. You'll be able to find it every now and then. So first off, let's talk about everything that I can about the Shadow Stalker. Firstly, the damage on the Shadow Stalker goes like this. 109 to the head, 80 to the body and 60 to the limbs. Those are on players. Don't really care about zombies because you're not going to really be using a Shadow Stalker on zombies. But also, it has an explosion range of 5 meters doing 5 damage. Every meter farther it gets, it loses 1 damage. Therefore, 1 meter away would be 4 damage. 2 meters away would be 3 damage. 3 meters away would be 2 damage. 4 meters away would be 1 damage. And 5 meters away, 0 damage. As you can see, I have 100 damage. I'm going to shoot my feet. And now I have 96 damage. Because it's one meter away from me, I guess, from the floor, as that's what the game sees at least. If it's right on my body, it'll take five damage away. Therefore, if you get shot in the head, it'll be 109 plus five. That's 114. It does 114 damage to the head. Then if you look at body, 80 plus five, 85. Look at limb, 60 plus five, 65 damage. It has one of the top damage, or probably the most damage out of any other gun. The reload time is about 30 seconds, it says on the wiki page, which isn't too long. There are guns that actually have longer. And the hip fire isn't actually terrible for a sniper, especially when you have a laser on this. Just think about that. That is really good hip fire for a sniper with this much damage. Just look at it. Of course, I do have sharpshooter increased all the way, but still, with a laser on this and laying down and the bipod, you it'll literally be a dot there and you can just you can kill anyone easily with hip fire. This gun also has no bullet drop. The one of the only guns in game, I don't know if it is the only gun in game, so I'm gonna say one of the only guns in game with no bullet drop. Like I said, the spread is nothing, as you can see on the hip fire. The recoil is a lot. Look at when I shoot. It is kind of a lot. Of course, of course, it is mostly taken care of because I have right here, which stabilizes the recoil. So it's not as much as what it would be. The range is 300 meters on this bad boy, the same as a lot of other snipers like the Echo and things like that. But why this is so much powerful, because it's much more powerful and it has no bullet drop. And lastly that I have to say, this is actually an easy server. So let's go to G to go into my inventory. As you can see, my, my Shadow Stalker is on 100% because I have my single player thing as an easy server. So there's no durability. But the durability would be minus 4% on each shot. So basically you only get 25 shots out of this. But it is really, really easy to repair because there's no durability lost. You can't see how to repair it. But I'm pretty sure it's only four scrap metal and a blowtorch to repair it. And probably skills would be right here, engineer. Probably have to level that up all the way, I would think. Don't 100% trust me on that. But anyways, let's go on to structure damage and how good this does. We have maple, birch, pine, and metal. We're going to shoot each one 
and we're gonna see the damage that it does. Of course, this is gonna damage the floor as well, because like I said, the explosion damage. It's only five, but I don't know how much it is on structures. Anyways, let's shoot the wall at the very top, so let's not even get the floor even damaged, and let's see how this works. We shot the wall, and as you can see, even way up there, it still damaged the floor 98%, even from shooting way up there. It damaged the pillars nothing, because how unturned works is really weird. If you shoot a wall, the pillars won't get damaged. Like, if you saw my last video about the charges, if you look closely at the metal at the metal structures, when we put a charge on the metal wall, the pillars didn't get damaged, because it the metal wall, or the wall in this case, absorbs all the damage. But that's a uh, time for another video. Let's go to here, 79 damage. It does 21 damage on a maple wall. A lot of people use maple. Now you see where I'm coming from, why this gun is so good. Five shots and you're into a base with maple. Let's go on to Birch. And it does basically about the same amount of damage, not much less. This does 27, so it only takes four shots to actually get through birch, while it takes five to get through maple. Let's go to pine. And with pine, we got 80%, 20 damage. Once again, only five shots, just like the maple. Pine and maple are actually the same exact thing when it comes to the Shadow Stalker. And with metal, of course, it's gonna take the most shots, which it looks like it gets this down to only 8%. So that's going to be about 11, 12 shots with the Shadow Stalker, which I mean isn't crazy amount. We already saw two rails in there. You can get into a metal base by just looting the Scorpion 7 just a little bit every single time. And also if you go up here, you can find some rails too. It's not terrible. Like I said, I don't use the Shadow Stalker that much because it seems like it's not worth it. Like why would you hold a 5x2 weapon on you when the ammo is very, very rare? But when I look at the structure damage and how much damage it actually does to bases, it might actually be worth it. So maybe next time just think a little bit if that Shadow Stalker is worth keeping. Maybe just store it in your base forever until you're looking to raid. Maybe every single time you see a rail, pick it up and put it in your base. Because this Shadow Stalker can be used for a raid fairly easily. Also, the damage on players is amazing, especially with no bullet drop. So I look at this. Let's see if I can hit this on me. No bullet drop. Absolute, well, it's on easy mode, so there already is no bullet drop. But this gun has no bullet drop. Also, the sight is amazing if you have sharpshooter and a laser sight and a bipod. All in all, it's a good weapon. And just I just want you guys to question using it maybe more often than you did. I know a lot of you guys probably already use it a lot. And then you're thinking, why am I even making this video? I myself don't use it that much. I'm probably going to use it more. Hopefully, you guys use this more. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. My name is Commenting, and I'm out of here. See you guys later.